Hi everybody, I'm just waiting for Maggie to join us. If you're watching, feel free to say hi. Maggie, if that's you, you just have to send the request to join the chat. Hey, Maggie. <laughs> Hey Neka, how are you? Ivia, good morning, love. <laughs> so I guess you just have to send me a request to join the, the video live. Hey Jennifer. Happy New Year, goddesses. Hmm, let me see. Maggie, if I can join. Oh, here we go. Maggie, are you on your cell phone? For some reason, it doesn't give me the option to add you, but it does other people. Hey, Jen. So I apologize for the technical issues. It's my first time doing a live in the business page, so it's just going to take us a few seconds to figure this out. Hey, Chrissy. Just double check again if I can add. Nope. Is there any way you can get to your cell, love? Oop. Vita, what was it you went through last week? The intention settings or the diving into the divine feminine? to the goddesses of technology. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, I just got your request, Maggie. Here we go. Nice. Thanks for your patience. It's just adding you now, Maggie. Mm. Held in wilderness actually sounds really amazing. A wildness, rather. Yeah, Maggie's pretty amazing. She was in my Roar magazine uh, a few issues ago. So to tell you a little bit about Maggie while it's, it's adding her, it says it's adding her, so hopefully it'll, it'll kick in at some point. Uh, Maggie helps women know their worth and embraces their light and shadow. Combining the mystical with simplicity, nature cycles with tantric secrets, and by inviting you into the deep feminine wisdom. Today we're going to have a chat about the divine feminine and setting intentions for 2019. So I'm looking forward to having this chat with you, lovelies. <laughs> goddesses of technology we I... made it <laughs> awesome how are you love my gosh i'm good how are you it I'm... said i had to rotate my phone which is odd because now i'm like crooked but that's okay hi i can i can see you up upright if that makes a difference so really okay good yeah <laughs> so let me how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm enjoying yeah. like our first real snowfall here in Toronto. So really, I, I don't think I'm jealous of that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can relate. Yeah, yeah I head to Hawaii yeah. next week. It so really warm for you up there too. Is it has been pretty warm here? 
Yeah, I think the weather's changing everywhere right now. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, totally. I'm okay with warmer, though. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> totally. So, Me too. so while I was waiting for you to come on, I don't know if you, uh, if you heard or not, but I just did a, a little introduction of who you are and what we're going to talk about. So Thank you. Um, I'm super glad that you were able to make it today. I appreciate you. This is my first live on my business page, so thank you for being my first. <laughs> Yes, I am honored to be here, and um, I am surprised by so many people watching already, too. So thank you for having me. This is going to be fun. I'm excited to hear what you have to say about diving into the divine feminine. Yes, yes, yeah. So for you, what, Do you want what to is, what, yeah, well, I was going to ask, like, to start off, um, maybe you could explain to some of the people that are watching, what is the divine feminine for you? Oh, how am I going to answer that shortly, <laughs> Melissa? <laughs> so for me, the divine feminine, um, for me personally, the divine feminine has helped me so much just to be more present. For me, the divine feminine is presence. It's, she just is. And the divine feminine is, it's not really something. It's not really like tangible a higher person or whatever yeah. tangible thing right it's it's an energy that we all embody both men and women um for me the divine feminine um has helped me so much to just slow down and i can recognize her when i'm out in nature i can recognize her when i'm meditating I can i can recognize that that energy within myself that just wants to experience life. And yeah, I think that that is really what the divine feminine means for me. It's that life force that we all embody that everything on the planet embodies that just wants to experience life and expand and sense and taste and smell and love and move. And then the masculine, on the other hand, it's probably really easy for us to 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 get into the masculine, right? Because that's our entire society is very focused on that masculine um, mm -hmm. doing and the action. And but the masculine is actually um, he's holding that steady form, right? For for the feminine to to experience and to embody and to. Um, yeah, just live life and, and, and enjoy it. And so the feminine for me is really that life force that, that brings everything to life. That's why we're here, created the entire universe. It's, I always like to say, um, it's what draws the bee to the flower. It's like that mm -hmm. powerful. Like, I, I just love that. It's what pops roses open and unfurls roses. It's, it's what pops seeds open. And the masculine is the container for that. And through my own journey, I was always so focused on doing more, right? I was always making lists and, and going to work and just going through all the motions. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until um, I moved to a farm that I still live on now. It's a very small farm, but it helped me to really tune in more into the seasons. And that's how I got started you know, tracking the moon cycles and, and really just enjoying nature more. For those that are watching and, that don't know what the moon cycles are, can you explain that? Yes. Yeah, so mm -hmm. the moon cycles to me, okay, I'll, I'll back up a little bit. So okay. I moved to the farm <laughs> and um, since, the, since we started farming, we have used a calendar to plant our seeds. And this calendar, it shows the moon cycles, the planetary cycles, and it tells you when to plant your seeds for best crops, right? So that's how I really got started into the moon cycle. So the moon cycle, we have 13 moon cycles in an entire year. And so every 29 and a half days or so, we go through one moon cycle from the dark moon, new moon, all the way to the full moon, and then to the dark and new moon again. And what I found when I started planting these seeds with this calendar, and I started to get into my own cycles too, because um, the thing about the moon is it controls water, right? It controls all the water on the planet. It controls the ebb and flow of the tides. Mm. So it also controls 
us and our water and our fluids. Um, since we're 70, 75% made up of water in, in our human bodies. So of course we are so influenced by the moon as well. We're like little planets. We're like little earths walking around each and every one of us. So got into the moon cycles and that's what really um, got me into the divine feminine too because I figured out, okay, so I am always hustling and always doing more and very in that masculine straight line focus. Whereas mm -hmm. when I look at the seasons and the plants and the moon and I am much more a cycle, right? We, we as women are so, so yeah. much more a cycle and that then reflects how you show up in the world, how inspired you are, how, how you're creating, how you're taking care of your body throughout those cycles within yourself, it's always going to be different. And I think that is what I meant with the unpredictability of the divine feminine, that it will always be different. Mm -hmm. It will always be different. Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, it makes perfect sense. I absolutely love working with my cycles. Because I yeah. just, you know, there's, there's times to release and let go and there's times to create and, and be inspired. Exactly. And you're yeah. during certain cycles, certain parts of your cycle, you're way more in tune to your intuition and heightened, like on all your senses, you know, so it's um, depending on what you want to, you know, if we're not creating life, we should be creating something else. So it's kind of like, you know, that inspiration to just yeah. birth, birth something, yeah. you know? Exactly. And that's, yeah, exactly. That creative impulse is always there that is that life force energy right it always wants to create more and expand more and experience more through us so whether or not we're actually creating life in in the form of a baby this can also be a painting or even a meal or a song or mm -hmm. a writing it can be a beautiful conversation with a friend it can be anything that wants to just flow through you yeah yeah beautiful beautiful yeah so what's one of your favorite things about the divine feminine i think the divine feminine it's the fullness right for me um and i see this in a lot of women um for example when when we set intentions or we set goals or we want something more in our lives, we get there. We want to get there from a place of we are not good enough yet, right? Until we get there, we're not good enough. And so one of my favorite things about the divine feminine is, is that that energy, that principle helps us to find that self worth and that self value just simply by being a woman first. And it creates that really beautiful fullness within us, right? Mm -hmm. Like we as women, we're very full. We're very overflowing in, in the be most beautiful sense of the words. And I think that is my favorite thing because I think that is so important for everyone to, to embody that. Just imagine a, a world where every woman feels so worthy and valued just by being a woman. And then from there, the men, you know, will, will embrace that too. Yeah. I can just vision that in my head, this beautiful dynamic in the world. Yeah. Everything yeah. is a reflection of how you feel within yourself. So when you know your worth, you attract people that see your worth as well. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What's yeah. one of your favorite ways to dive into the feminine? Closing your eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meditation. Definitely meditation. Um, there's many, many, many more things, of course. But for me, meditation really, really just helps. Because when you close your eyes, you're already in the feminine, right? You're already in the darkness, in, in the unpredictable, the, the infinite. And, but I will say, for some people, you know, it may be more beneficial to, to work on their self-love or, you know, do mirror work where you look at yourself in a mirror for five minutes and, and tell yourself you love yourself. Um, for some, it may be more beneficial to um, get into body love more, um, mm. 
by doing mirror work too, or even diet changes or intuitive eating, or I feel it's very different for everyone. What, what works the best, of course, because we're all so beautifully unique. Um, even in meditation, you can do so many different meditation exercises. You can just sit down and then set a timer for, for five or 10 minutes or longer. You can do your nost do the nostril breath. Um, the Nadi Shodana, which I really like. Um, you can do visualizations. There's tons of people online who do visualizations and guided meditations, which is really beautiful. Um, yoga is also a really good one because you're you're embodying yourself. You're you're in your body. Um, for me, being in nature, I that always absolutely does. yeah that because the nature the earth is an embodiment of the divine feminine for me and it's that very slow energy that when we spend time in nature we're kind of soaking that up and um dance i mm. love to dance and, and dance is one of my favorites the body. It's, yeah. yes yeah because it's so the divine feminine for me is really about the body Right, I really? love that in the beginning you said um, yeah. that you've seen it as presence because for mm -hmm. me when I do my, my morning ritual and uh, get into, drop into the divine feminine and source and stuff, it's all about just being present, shutting yeah. your mind off, getting into your body, you know. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so, so what is your practice? I'm curious too because mine is uh, always different. Yeah, well, I like to have a little bit of variety to it just because it's my creative nature. I don't like to do things too routinely all the time because then I start to lose exactly. a little bit of spark, you know, in my, in my fire. Exactly. But um, some of the things that I love to do is meditate pretty much as soon as I wake up. Because for me, well, morning time is like one of the best times to get into to set your intentions for the day because um, you want to take control of your mind before your mind takes control of you, right? And like you can just kind of set the intention more during that time so then the rest of your day is like amazing yeah. you kind of have like a plan and like how you want to feel um but I love dropping into meditation doing breath work uh self-massage uh -huh. to connect with my body I do a little bit of mirror work too dancing is one of my favorites so if I dance for 20 minutes yeah. it doesn't matter when or where like I just the endorphins release and I feel amazing exactly yeah it's like your heart just opens mm -hmm. up like that. yeah and it's all about like a feeling it's like I know it's kind of like body memory once you kind of know what it feels like when you're in the flow or in source or like connected to that there's like this feeling and when you've done it enough you start to remember what that feels like and when you step out of balance you can feel it a lot louder so I love to like when I have the time I like to make um time to make sure that I go out in nature and also that I'm hydrating because like first thing in the morning you lose water while you're sleeping so and when mm -hmm. you are dehydrated, you tend to, to get like into negative thinking. So I, the first thing I do is drink a liter of water when I wake up, you know, so just these little things that, that help a lot. Yeah. And I really love that you brought up the, um, the water because I feel diet and even just drinking the water, even like squeezing a lemon in it, that is such an important part of this too I feel I I really feel that we need to take care of our bodies right with the mm -hmm. best possible like it doesn't have to be hard um, with good foods and fresh foods and and lots of water and tea and yeah, yeah and like you can even bless you can even bless the water before you drink it right thank it exactly yes mm -hmm. yeah or put, put your hands around it and do reiki on the water even or things like that yeah yeah. I was seeing Nico was just asking a question of, oh yeah, <laughs> I love yeah. water too. Sorry, just yeah. seeing, uh, Nico was just asking the question, how could she incorporate meditation uh, into her daily routine if she needs to get her kids ready for school? And she suggested maybe waking mm -hmm. up earlier, which I think is a perfect yeah. idea. Yeah, yeah. So I like to meditate in the morning um, when it's all still quiet. Um, but when I had, um, a full-time job a, a few years ago, I, I would wake up really early. So I didn't really want to wake up even more early. So I would meditate when I got home and that was the first thing I would do. I would change and then meditate. 
and just for 10 minutes every day. Yeah, even five and minutes makes a huge difference. It's a commitment. Yeah, yeah. It's a commitment that you're making to yourself. For me, it was, it was I'm going to do this every day. <laughs> that yeah. was my intention. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing with the self-love and, routine. Like, even, and if the people that have kids, I always recommend like getting up earlier if that's what you need to do. Because I, yes, I get yeah. it when you wake up, like you instantly feel like you need to take care of them. I understand that. So like giving yourself even that five minutes of like setting exactly. the alarm for yourself, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And then um, I know this lady who um, right before she picks up her kids and right after she comes home from work, that's when she would meditate. So it's like whenever you can find that time for yourself. But yeah, if you're already thinking waking up early, then that's what I would do. <laughs> yeah. And even if it's just five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So you want us to talk about setting intentions for 2019. I'm just curious to know how the divine feminine and setting intentions kind of intertwines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because setting intentions is a little bit more masculine, right? <laughs> However, it can be very feminine as well, because it's all about embodying the intention, right? So um, yeah, I was thinking about what, what we were going to talk about today. And I thought, you know, it's the beginning of the year. And I think setting intentions, it's such a big thing that everyone is setting goals and resolutions. And I, I do it completely different. <laughs> and I think, um, I think a lot of us do that by now that I kind of have a feeling that we're kind of moving away from setting strict goals right would mm. you agree with that i think so yeah especially since well the yeah. the divine feminine is rising right now so absolutely <laughs> exactly you know yeah, it's like it's not so yeah much it's not about a rigid yeah. schedule anymore and and um forcing yeah. to make things happen exactly yeah and i i can kind of see that which is good which is really beautiful so because if you think about setting goals and setting a resolution for yourself and like I shared earlier, you're coming from that place of lack, like I'm not good enough right now. So I have to lose weight or find a new job and then I'll be better. Then I will be happier or then I will um, show up for myself more or whatever it may be. And that is so um, not how we want to do things anymore because you're thriving, you're striving for that which is a very masculine um, energy and it can burn you out, right? It, it won't get you those beautiful results that you're actually looking for because you're not embodying what you really want. Does that make sense? Like when you, when, when I hear you say that, I, it's like, you're not, you're seeking outside of yourself to kind of obtain it instead of just yeah. feeling it and being at first and then attracting it, which is the feminine yes. way of doing things. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah, it, it won't make you feel good. And I'm all about setting intentions and, and, you know, expanding ourselves in a way that it makes it makes sense and that you can stick with it and it will feel good. So what I would what I was going to share today is what I do. And um, you can do this right now, um, or later or this weekend or whatever. Um, get a piece of paper. And you want to divide it up into 12 or 24 like little blocks that you can cut out later and then so it's up to you if you want to use a 12 or 24 it's it's kind of we're just going to write down all our dreams and desires that that we want or um intentions like i want to lose weight or i want to take piano lessons <laughs> this year or um i want to find a new job whatever your dreams are your desires are just write them in the little box and i'm really every time i do this i i go big like i want to um kind of challenge myself too that it's it's not going to be you know um when i'm writing down something and my mind is going oh that's not possible that's we're, where we have some work to do right that's yeah. that's the beauty of where we can utilize that divine feminine principle again too that we are worthy that we are valuable that we are um just worthy by breathing that's that's all yeah. we are so worthy yeah. 
So that's, I'll, I'll, ha I'll have you do that and then write down all, all your dreams and desires. So you end up with 12 or 24 blocks and little pieces. You'll got to cut them out and then you have these little pieces of all your dreams and desires and you fold them up. And then what we're going to do is put them in, in like a basket or whatever and shuffle them up. And we're going to put that to the side. And then I, I want you to sit with yourself and, and in stillness and meditate, close your eyes and imagine what it would feel like if the, some of those things or all those things or whatever works best for you to really get into that feeling if they were already true. And that is the feeling of yes in your body, right? Mm -hmm. Like what is the feeling in your body of yes, you are worthy. You are living your best life. You are the amazing woman that you are meant to be. What does that yes feel like in your body? And just kind of play with that. And you'll know, <laughs> right? Everyone knows this for themselves. And um, so it's also a beautiful practice of trusting in yourself too. And then I want you to feel into what feels like a no. So what does it feel like when you're holding yourself back, when you're talking yourself down, when um, you're beating yourself up for not reaching a goal or you're telling yourself you're not good enough or whatever, that, that is a no, right? That is, we don't want to feel that way. That feels like a no, right? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the resistance, so right? Those, yeah. So when we have those two frequencies figured out within ourselves we can shuffle our all our desires lay them out and then pick the ones that feel like a yes I love so that. you will hover your hand and you will actually the first time I did this I just picked them out that felt like a yes to me and it was so amazing I'm really excited to try so this <laughs> yeah yeah and then those are the ones so you end up with 12 or 6 Whatever, like you can do this for the next six months or the next 12 months. So mm -hmm. you, you will have, a, you will divide it up. So you either pick 12 or six from, from your um, 24 or 12 um, desires. And then we can use our inner masculine to kind of divide them up over the next coming months. So we're not super overwhelmed with all these, mm -hmm. these desires that all of a sudden we have, you know, and so what I would like to do is um, I make a list of the upcoming months and then kind of just write down what feels good. You know, um, I can give an example. I did this over the summer and one of my, my um, intentions was to host more in-person workshops because, you know, I, I feel in the area where I live, there's not much mm -hmm. like, you know, women's circles. And so that was my intention and that was the one that came out so I would put it you know next to September whatever it was and because that felt good and I just reached out to a few local spas or you know yoga um, places to mm -hmm. see if they would be interested in, in having some women's circles there so that was my masculine taking that inspired action yeah. from that yeah. goal from that intention and it wasn't hard you know, they, I came from that place of, yes, I really want to do this. So I will reach out. And yeah, so that's kind of how I do it. I divide it up over the next coming months. Let's say um, I was hosting a workshop and one of the ladies, she wanted to exercise more. And Oh, the video just. Oh, <laughs> I guess the goddesses of technology are not with us right now. <laughs> um, let's see, I'm just going to try to invite Maggie back. One second.
You're welcome, Jennifer. Nika, you're asking um, to suggest for beginners. I'm so in the masculine energy. Do you mean suggesting for setting intentions or for meditation? Sorry, I've invited Maggie back on. Hopefully the internet is working with us. I'm just going to scroll up and see if there's any other questions. It's awesome, Vita, that you, you meditate at least two minutes a day. Stepping in general, stepping into my feminine energy. <clears throat> um, <laughs> so I don't know if Maggie's going to be able to join us again. I will just trust that if that's not an option, that it's the, what you were meant to hear, you have heard. Um, Sanika, I will just answer your question before dropping off the call. I'm just trying to drop into um, my experience of being in the feminine and masculine because I have a lot of the mix. Actually, I grew up very masculine in my energy because my dad wasn't around growing up. And I kind of took that role of being my own kind of protector and provider and um, being a double fire sign. I'm very into um, action-oriented stuff, creating. And self-love was one of the one of the ways that dropped me into my feminine so learning how to take care of myself what i needed um what my what my pleasures were and and not even just physically but <clears throat> within your environment as well right like for example i bought these flowers the other day because i love the color and love having the scent around so there's all these ways that you can add these beautiful like feminine touches into your life into your everyday you know it's just a matter of dropping in and asking yourself what it is that you need because your your needs are going to be different from mine so once you do start meditating maybe that's a question that you can ask yourself what is your heart leading you to do to drop into your divine feminine today <laughs> hey tara welcome uh, so Maggie just got dropped off the call. I'm trying to re-add her, but if it's not, I'm going to, it's not looking like it's going to happen, but, um, oh, you're welcome, Nika. I want to thank all of you for joining me today, uh, and having my, experiencing my first live call with us on my Facebook page. So I appreciate you all being here. I hope that you received, um, some golden nuggets of wisdom and information on dropping into divine feminine and creating intentions for 2019. Uh, I know I'm super excited to be uh, trying what Maggie had suggested. She just it's connecting right now, so I'm just going to see if she's going to pop on just to say hi. <laughs> hi, Maggie. <laughs> I figure we needed a proper like closing. <laughs> yeah. So I am sorry. Mm -hmm, that's okay. That's that's technology. I just wanted to make sure we had a proper closing before you left. <laughs> yes. Does anyone have any questions? I saw some um, pop up and I, I'm sure you've already. Uh, Nika was asking about uh, what would you suggest some? for her to drop into her divine feminine since she's in her masculine mm -hmm. energy most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's um, really how I was. I was very much, I did, had no idea about feminine energy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had no idea and um but through what I shared you know with kind of figuring out those cycles for myself and the moon really helped me with that and and meditating helped me with that and but it's if you're very interested in learning more about the masculine and feminine um there's so many resources online about it um this, like whatever interests you right is what I would follow that's, that's yeah your I heart did. your heart leads the way for yeah. sure so if any of the yeah. women that are joining yeah. us today would like to connect with you um how would they do that I have let me just pop you let me do this <laughs> differently here 
<sighs> I don't know what is happening. So, um, I, <laughs> so I have a, um, a Facebook group. It's called the Moon Goddess Temple. I have a feeling the, the name will be changed shortly. <laughs> um, but I would love to welcome everyone in for that. Um, and I'm also, um, I am launching a three month um, kind of a beta test run program in March, which is really about finding our place in the world, um, which was really hard for me my entire life. Like I never really felt like I belonged anywhere or on the mm. planet. Um, <laughs> and but at the same time, kind of uncovering these these feminine principles and the healing that comes with that and well being in like a really small, beautiful community and me. <laughs> and yeah, so with that program, you know, I'm, I'm going through those principles of really coming home to ourselves, like our gifts will just bubble up and blossom too. And, and it will just transform life will, will transform. So there's a wait list for it. Um, I haven't gotten any information really together about it yet. Um, it's I can leave the link if anyone is interested in awesome. that. Um, and I, I can leave the link to the Facebook group too. And yeah, that's, that's really what I'm working on right now. Just, you know, yeah, just really using what I have learned and, and kind of, you know, helping and guiding others with that too. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing your yeah. wisdom today. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. And I'm so grateful for everyone who, who is watching. It's an honor. Yeah, it's lovely to uh, feel the energy of everybody in the group that's watching live. So, yeah. And I look forward to sharing this video Definitely. also in my goddess group. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, love. Have a great day. Bye. Happy New Year. <laughs> you too.